Hello, and in today's video, we're doing predictions for match week number six of the 2022 to 23 season. That's right, back with score predictions for the championship on the channel. And get your score predictions in the comment section below. We've got three points for the correct outcome. Uh, that's also five points for the correct goal difference and then seven for the correct scoreline. Before we do move on to my predictions, let's quickly look back at last week and how we got on. So just looking at uh, our predictions last week, we did um, have some very interesting ones. I can't lie. Um, there were some big games, some big results. And of course, it was a uh, very, very telling wasn't it? The uh, midweek action because uh, Watford drawing to Birmingham was uh, was not the most ideal result. But we had that game against Preston. You thought, yeah, that's all right. Let's, let's bounce back. Let's uh, try and get our first away win of the season. And uh, it didn't exactly turn out in the most ideal way. Uh, to kick off the weekend, we had Norwich against Millwall. I thought that this would be a fairly entertaining game. 2-2 two -two draw. And it was a Norwich win, so no points for me there. Um, yeah, interesting there. Very, very interesting. I thought this would be a sort of game that would be tight, but good win for Norwich in the end. Uh, impressive stuff. And uh, they fully deserve the win. Two goals from Josh Sargent. Uh, two good goals at that. And yeah, I, uh, you know, Norwich have been pretty poor to start the season. But for this week, they actually, you know, pulled their sleeves up and genuinely deserve the win. So I was a bit gutted, I can't lie, because I had a mill defender in my in my team. My fantasy team, uh, that was Cooper, uh, but it wasn't to be for Millwall. They just weren't quite at the races in match week number five. So, yeah, uh, moving on then quickly to our next prediction. And that was, of course, the first Saturday kickoff. Uh, and that was the matches on Saturday. So we had, uh, what was it? Yeah, it was against uh, Wigan for Birmingham. Um, so this was uh, a game I predicted and I thought, Looking at it, it would be a fairly easy result. Well, I say easy result. No game is easy to predict in the championship. But what I mean is I thought it was a bit more predictable than other games. But lo and behold, no. Um, it was actually a good win for Wigan. Um, I thought Birmingham would be fairly comfortable. Um, I say fairly comfortable. What I mean by that is like they won't have a have a stinker. Um but no, uh, it was a good win for Wigan. Um, I can't lie, that was a bit of a surprise to me. I uh, didn't see that coming. I said a nil-nil draw. So again, no points, not a good start. Um, and the only goal of the game, obviously that red card for Wigan, you thought would change all of it. But Wigan battled on and broadhead late in the day. Very good win for Wigan. So not a good start for our predictions. We said um, a black ball against uh, Burnley uh, at Turf Moor, 2-1 to Burnley. You backed them surely at home to Blackpool, but no. There goes another draw for Burnley and uh, not the best start, to say the least, for Vincent Company and uh, the Clarets because a uh, uh, very, very interesting game against Blackpool. 3-3, three, three, two red cards. I mean, what more can you want from a game? Burnley go ahead in the third minute from Brownhill. Then they go ahead again with Teller. Then they pull back one from Corbinau. And what is Murich doing? I don't know. Um, but then Burnley go ahead and you think, all right, 3-1, another from Teller. What a great kind of game for, for the new signing. Uh, and that's an easy three points wrapped up. But that's the championship. It always, always shocks you with two goals in two minutes from Lavery and Yates. Unbelievable turnaround from, from the Tangerines. And then the red card was just unbelievable. I mean, Carey got sent off for, for Blackpool. I don't think it really was a red card. I thought it was yellow, to be honest. But it wasn't ideal at the same time. And then the reaction from Matson. I mean, it's just stupid. He pushes him over, flattens him to the deck. And it's an easy decision for the referee there. Um, the referee to to send off, send off the uh, the player uh, Matson for uh, another yet red card. So yeah, not a great result for us in the predictions, but also for Burnley. Um, Coventry one, Huddersfield one is what we predicted. I mean, I don't believe that this game was was called off again. I mean, it's ridiculous. Coventry sort out your stadium, just get it sorted. It is a joke. So yeah, th that game didn't go ahead, of course. Another Coventry game at home suspended, but let's see if they have their next game um, suspended again. Uh, but moving on swiftly, Preston against Watford. Of course, I backed the boys. I didn't mess about. 2-1, uh, oh, sorry, 2-0 prediction with uh, goals from Pedro and uh, a debut goal for Keenan Davis, I hoped. Um, Pedro in the end didn't actually start. He wasn't even in the squad. 
uh, to an injury. <laughs> yeah, right. More like negotiating a deal with Newcastle. Um, but yeah, in the end, that was a bit of a blow because I captained him fantasy football uh, for the championship because I was just like, I know he's probably going to leave, but I thought maybe if he's in the squad, one last hurrah, not even in the squad. So my vice captaincy in the end went to Vyman from Bristol City. He did naught against Cardiff. Brilliant. Uh, but we'll talk about fantasy in a second because 22 points from Swift. You beauty. Uh, but moving on swiftly from that uh, bad prediction for us, we had uh, QPR against Rotherham. I thought this would be a Rotherham win with the form that Rotherham were on. But QPR did, in fact, get a one or draw. And uh, Chris Willock on the score sheet. But nice Elias chair assist for our fantasy team. So we'll take that. Uh, but Ogbeni obviously getting the goal for Rotherham. So again, no points. It's been a bit of a stinking week. Reading against Middlesbrough. I thought, surely that's a Reading victory. No? No? No, I predicted a 2-2. Yeah, it was a 1-0 Reading. Uh, big upset, really, when you think about how good Middlesbrough can be on their day. But look, it's a great result for Reading. Sheffield United Blackburn, I thought 1-0. Easy dub. They never lose. They always win at she uh, Bramall Lane, Sheffield United. And that was to be true. But it wasn't 1-0. It was 3-0 in the end. Uh, two from Ndai. And one from Ollie Norwood, who uh, is looking very good at the minute, um, the captain for the Blades. Um, then we move on to Stoke against Sunderland. Um, after that correct result, you think, come on, this is it. This is the start of a comeback. No. <laughs> correct, incorrect result. We said 1-0 Stoke, it was 1-0 Sunderland, so unfortunate there. We said Swansea City 0, Luton Town 2. That was a nice upset prediction. Got that right, but not the right goal difference. We said 1-0 uh, in our prediction, it was 2-0 in reality. Uh, West Brom 2, Hull 0 is what we predicted. It was 5-2 in the end to West Brom. So that was a good prediction, but ultimately no correct scoreline. And then we said 1-1 between Bristol and Cardiff. And in the game on the Sunday, it of course finished 2-0. Yes, to Bristol City. A good win for Nigel Pearson, finally. And uh, Atkinson and Conway with the goals. Um, talking of Bristol City, Watford rumoured with Antoine Semenyo. Very interesting. Let's see if we get him over the line. But ultimately, it was not good for our predictions. Let's move on to match week number four. So looking ahead to match week number four, to kick us off, we've got a Friday night kickoff between Luton and Sheffield United. I'm going for 1-0 Sheffield United. Now, it's a next match between Sunderland and Norwich, 2-0 Norwich, Blackburn 0, Stoke 1, Blackpool 1, Bristol City 2, Cardiff 3, Preston 1, Huddersfield 0, West Brom 2, Hull 0, Cardiff, uh, sorry, Coventry 0, I think that'll be a stinky one, Middlesbrough 1, Swansea 2, Millwall 0, Reading 1, Brotherham 1, Birmingham City 1, Watford 2, QPR 1, please, please, let's keep on our unbeaten start and let's keep on the fact we're second in the league, nice, even though the performances have been not nice. 2-1 uh, Watford. Goal scorers. Raymond I has got to get a goal. And Bio has got to get a goal. The new signings, hopefully. Stop missing chances, please. Um, the first goal from Manai on 25 minutes. Then QPR equalised through chair on 57th minute. And then Watford with a winner. With Bio, you legend, 83rd minute. Then Wigan against Burnley. I'm going to say Burnley. 3-0 away from home. That is my predictions for match week number six of the new season for the championship. Get yours in the comment section below. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.